really good guy today. But around the table, we've got Mr. Nama Shiri. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And we've got Steve here. Just yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just one yes. Um, today, we're talking about a guy who has been dominating in um, over at Juco. He's got his award, isn't he? He's yeah. got his own award. <laughs> yeah. um, this guy is always nearly about shy of a triple double. Yeah. Um, yes. A amazing guy, he had a fantastic win last night, 73-72, um, and I quote, he had 13 points, 9 rebounds and 10 blocks. And I just say, we always put that challenge out to him to say, can you get 10 blocks? And he did in he one did. of the top games, so... Nine rebounds, Cavell. Nine yeah. rebounds, Cavell. Okay. <laughs> you've, you've let it out of the bag. We're talking about the one, the only, Mr. Cavell Bigby Williams. Cavell Bigby Williams, um, talented, talented, talented guy. Yep. Um, doing really well over at Gillette College. And today we're talking about, can Cavell make the league? This is a good question. The, B the, B B what league? the BBL? No, no, not the BBL. <laughs> oh, not sorry. the NBL. That's not, the league. not even any other league, but the league itself, the, the NBA. NBA. Wow. Great question. Great, Great question. question. How, can, um, he, can he make the league as the I'll jump today? in and say that he's had, uh, I think actually, to be fair, let's put it in context, he's had a record setting season yeah. Yeah, from a British player standpoint of what he's done Man. in Juco this yes. year. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. So all credit to Cavell, mm -hmm. you know, and doing a great job out there. And again, as ever, as one goes, they open up the door for others. Yeah. And now people are saying, you know, to, to us over here, where's the next Cavell? Contacting Steve, where's the next Cavell? Contacting <laughs> us, where's the next? You know what, just have this one for now. <laughs> yeah. Um, but um, uh, yeah, he's had a great season. And again, as you look at his game, can he make the lead? You know, this is always going to be a subjective one. You know what mm. I mean? It's like, you know, we have to fast forward. Um, he'll be going into um, Division One mm -hmm. uh, this season, for coming season, mm -hmm. uh, next season, should I say? And then, you know, we're looking two years down the line after that. So, how good will it be? Mm -hmm. I think this next decision is going to be key. Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, the, the development of uh, his game over the next two years, and something that these people talking about off camera in terms of making sure he's in the right situation mm -hmm. to strengthen the game, stre strengthen the areas of the game mm -hmm. that he needs to work on, mm -hmm. uh, but and also give him the right platform mm -hmm. of exposure so he can put his best traits yeah. um, on the show. It's going to be very important to him. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, that, that will go into, you know, uh, making that right decision where he can go to, to school next. Uh, but that all being said, you know, upside wise, you know, I think Cavell's got great upside. Mm -hmm. You know, why? Because again, he's got the long wingspan. Yeah. He's very athletic. Uh, I don't know if people realize just how uh, explosive he is in terms of straight up and down vertical. Yeah. Um, you know, he's a great rim protector mm -hmm. uh, at, at the level he's at now and will be in Division One as well, I'm sure. And the NBA, again, is another step beyond that though. Mm -hmm. You know, I always say to people when we start talking about the levels, it's like, the fundamentals are the fundamentals, mm -hmm. but when you move up the levels, an example for rebounding, you know, if you go to a National League game, you know, majority of the, the rebounds are caught at the backboard level. Mm -hmm. You know, you move up to the pro game, certainly over here in Europe, it's around the rim level, yeah. and in the NBA, you're catching rebounds above the rim. Yeah. You know, so Cavell, for me, uh, in that category, will be fine in terms of uh, athleticism. Mm -hmm. um, I think, you know, in terms of upside, it's going to be about him honing in uh, what position are you going to play? Mm -hmm. And really, for me, obviously, projects as a four. Yeah. And uh, what type of four is he going to be? Because actually, you know, the type of player he is at the moment, again, I'm not saying he is this guy, mm -hmm. okay? But the type of player he is at a Juco level, at a, a slightly smaller level in terms of his size, is, as Steve was saying off camera, like a Hassan Whiteside type guy. Mm -hmm. A guy that rebounds the ball, a guy that will block a lot of shots yeah. and does a lot of his work near to the basket. Yeah. You know, I know Cavell's trying to stretch out his game a little bit so he's got a consistent mid-range for 18 foot jump shot. Mm -hmm. We'll see where that goes. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm big on upside. I'm big on optimism. Yeah. You know, so I'm going to say the chances are he can. Mm -hmm. But I want to put a huge caveat on that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's got to do a massive amount of work. Oh, yeah, okay? definitely. He's going to need to continue to get stronger. Yeah. Continue to be an avid student of the game. Mm. All right. And literally play every single day, mm. you know, get in the gym and make sure that you commit to being there. And I'm not saying he's not doing that now because he's had a great season, yeah. but he has to continue that on. I think mm. he's got, the, the exciting thing for me is I think cabell has got a chance. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he's got a chance, mm -hmm. you know, um, it's not anything to do with me, Steve, or anybody else, is that what are you going to do with it? Yeah. And if he has the right work ethic, mm -hmm. right mindset, I think he's got a chance to do it. And, and again, on this season alone, you have to say that, look, his mindset must be in place because he's killing. Yeah, he's killing so right I, I'm now. Gonna say, I'm going to say uh, optimistic yes. Mm -hmm. Optimistic yes. Okay, I like that. I like Go that. to the league, Cavell. Yeah. No pressure, no pressure. But you got to work hard. you got to work hard. So we've got work ethic, dedication um, on this side. Steve here, what's your thoughts? 
I think it's exciting that we're actually talking about British exactly. players that can potentially get to the NBA. Yeah. So that conversation has happened for a while, so that's exciting. Um, big talent, killing in Juco. Mm -hmm. And he's his award. You know, we talk about it every week. Absolutely. And we say get a triple double with blocks. He gets ten blocks, so mm. he's hungry. I know you're watching the show, Kavar. That's the same. We're giving you motivation. <laughs> um, NBA, it's a whole new level. Yeah. Let's be real. It's the best league in the world. Um, my not concern, but if I look at the NBA and say, right, how, where does Cavell fit? He's a four. Mm -hmm. He can't be a five. Hassan Whiteside, because Hassan no. Whiteside seven one, seven four wings fans. The guy is massive. Mm -hmm. Cavell is, you know, 6'9". Yeah. He's not grown anymore. It would be great if he does. But he becomes a four if he goes to the NBA. And the fours in the NBA is, you know, Luol's playing the four now at Miami. Yeah. Mm. You know, you've got to be able to guard the post and the perimeter, guard the pick and roll. You've got to be able to shoot. So the four is, the, is evolving in the NBA now where they're playing a lot of people that used to be threes at the fours. So mm. three. Right. So and Draymond Green sometimes plays the five. Yeah. LeBron will move. Probably, he was saying if Kevin Love weren't there, he'd be the four. How do you say that? So disrespectful. <laughs> I don't like LeBron James. Another, to another topic. But um, my thing is, where does Cavell fit in today's NBA? It's going to be tough for him. He's going to have to do some different things. He's going to have to shoot the ball. Or does he go under size five and just be an unbelievable athlete and mm -hmm. just become a rim protector and set screens, rebound? It's tough for him. The NBA is changing, you know, and you've got to be more skilled as a bigger player now on the perimeter. So I think that doesn't help him. Saying that, he has the potential to go to the NBA, which yeah. is exciting. He really does. I mean, I really like Cavell. I mean, I'm a massive fan of him when I met him. The kid's just getting on with it. He's not really <laughs> chip on his shoulder. I'm going yeah. to the States. He wanted to go to Division I school. He's gone via the Juco route, and he's making noise. And he's got massive schools after him. Oh, yeah. Massive. He's gonna, and the school that he chooses, He's going to be important, but he's going to have NBA teams looking at him because he's mm. going to get a big division on school. Mm. So he's on the right track. My only concern is position-wise, is where does he fit in the NBA? Mm -hmm. um, so for that reason, I'm going to say maybe. I'm not going to say yes or no. I hope he does. I really, really hope he does. So um, everyone here is back in Cavell. Yeah. Who else is next, though? I mean, is there anyone else at the moment? I and, and on that point, before we jump over to that question, I just want to ask a really important question for Cavell. You know, this is a big time. He must... We don't do this show to put pressure on you, but right. how does he keep um, composed? Because a lot of schools must be coming after him. There must be a lot of shine on him. How does he just, any tips, nuns, on how we can just, well, um, I mean, you know, deal with it professionally? Yeah, I mean, I think first of all, it's making sure that uh, you keep the circle around you. Definitely. You know, uh, Social circle. Absolutely. The circle around support you. System. <laughs> yeah, support system. Support system. Yeah, support. Say in America. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. That's your support system. <laughs> but um, the, the thing about it is, you've got to have um, good people around you. Yeah. yeah. Um, and be wary of, you know, all sorts of kind of newcomers to the table. Mm -hmm. so that's going to happen. You know, yeah. there will be so many, you know, no new friends. Yeah. No new friends. Yeah. yeah, remember that song. Because uh, <laughs> at the end of the day, there will be a lot of people that are trying to win favour with him and mm. promising what they can do for Definitely, him. Yeah. And really, they're looking at him as a commodity mm -hmm. and, you know, what they can get from him. So, you know, keep that same circle that you've had, mm -hmm. you know. He knows that he's got massive support in the UK that he can mm. reach back to if he needs it. But I think for him, you know, I think the good advice that was always given to me, which I always try to pass on, is that you're never as bad mm. as your worst game and worst critic, mm -hmm. but you're also never as good as your best. Mm. So you've got to stay humble. Yeah. Stay humble. Uh, no matter what happens, you know, don't think that uh, you've made it because you've still got a long way to go. Mm -hmm. And literally, when you get to, to Steve's point about having the opportunity to talk about the NBA, mm -hmm. he's done great at Juco, and we're yeah. all proud of him. When he gets to college, mm -hmm. to uh, his next two year school, Division One, it all starts again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, level. He has to he has to go and prove himself again. All over again. And yeah. so he has to go out there with the same amount of hunger. Mm -hmm. And what you did yesterday doesn't mean anything anymore. Mm -hmm. All that did is get you to into the room. Yeah. And now you're in the room. If you want to get to the head of the table, yeah. you've got to do it again mm -hmm. and again and again. And the only way you do that is by having, as we talk about on the show, mm -hmm. great work ethic. Staying humble, mm -hmm. staying hungry, mm -hmm. you know, and not listening to all of the flashing lights. Mm -hmm. And it takes a special kind of guy to do that, especially mm -hmm. when, you know, I don't think in, in, in the UK, Steve knows this, I don't think in the UK, because our game is developing, it doesn't get immediate exposure, it does in America, 
college basketball, forget the NBA, college basketball is a billion dollar industry. Mm -hmm. The TV deals in college basketball are huge. So with it comes so much more attention. Yeah. There's so much more, you know, as we like to say, gas. Right? Mm -hmm. There's loads of it everywhere. Yeah. And I think is, if you don't have the things that we're talking about, you could easily get distracted. And it's understandable. Mm -hmm. So the, the key thing for him is to make sure that he kind of sticks to what he's doing at the moment in terms mm -hmm. of staying humble, working hard. And again, you know, not just the present circle he's in, but, you know, I think mean, Steve can talk maybe more on this, but I know for a fact there's almost like a, maybe I shouldn't put it on camera, but there's like a, a secret society of elite players that have come before him yeah. that are always, always open to reach back. Mm -hmm. You know, guys like Luar will be available, mm -hmm. you know. Um, guys that have come before him who, you know, even Pops Mr. Bonsu, you know, Joel Freeland, these guys will be there yeah. to, you know, give you any advice as you need it. Mm -hmm. But the main thing is learning from those guys, learn from Luar. I know we said Luar's story to death, but, mm -hmm. you know, this is a time that becomes important for him, which mm -hmm. is Luar made it first and foremost because of the person he is and the work ethic he's got yeah. you know and no days off mm. and if, if, if Covell adopts those same principles and remains coachable which he's always been very coachable yeah. to these points yeah, yeah. I think that you know those are the things that will carry him through so mm. I'd say you know stick with what you're doing keep your circle tight hard work and humility yeah okay nice I like that I like that um, and then lastly then who's got next that's, that's the next question we're asking. As we roll into NBA. the summer. I mean, NBA at the moment, I think Cavell's at the top of the list. Yeah. I think because he's showing that he can put up those type of numbers in a good Juco league. So I think he is next and body type and everything. Mm -hmm. Is he Luke or Luke? Luke Nelson, yeah. I mean, tough one, isn't it? They it just is keep tough. getting knocked out. They got a killer. They got knocked out in you know, tournaments. So they didn't get to the tournament again. So mm -hmm. last year they got there. Louisville. Louisville. And then, well. yeah, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think he's going to have to really have a really good year next year. But yeah, I think potentially wise, he's got the skill set. Um, the way the NBA is going as well, mm -hmm. for him, yes. It's suiting him more than Cavell. Yeah. I think for his, you know, the kind of um, scoring guards can play the one, the two on the ball, off the ball. So Luke Nelson's right there too. And we're not, um, we're not calling him Steph Curry. But, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. No, no. but, but what they love to do, and Steve will tell you this, what they love to do in the NBA, Scout and GM. Oh, talk. he's like this. Guy, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. So who's he like? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. actually, you know, the, the person you think about with Luke is Steph Curry mm. because yeah. to shoot the ball, mm. one, two to Steve's point, and the NBA game mm. is changing more towards what he can do. Yeah. I mean, it would be amazing for me. I'd love to see. Definitely. Him. Yeah, love to see him. Well, this is a nice conversation to talk about British nice. talent um, going forward to the uh, the best yeah. league in the world. That is a very, very good conversation. There you have it. We've been talking about can Cavell, Big B Williams make the league? Cavell, we know you're watching. We're super proud of you, super proud. And we cannot wait to see you this summer. So, as we get here, Nova Shiri, Steve Fear, about to go. In.